Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on July the 4th, 2012, 1.42 a.m. Birmingham, Alabama. And topic, prophecy update on July the 2nd, 2012. Um, excuse me. Wipe them off the face of the earth. Iran issues a new threat to Israel. Iran threatens Israel. New EU sanctions take force. And they're hurting Iran. That's why they're getting flappy jaws. Iran drafts a bill to block the Hormuz for Gulf oil tankers. Let me say this. Hypothetically, if Iran puts four ships out there to block that strait, they'll lose four warships. Not by America. The rest of the world needs oil, too. Hezbollah could blockade the sea in the future. Not in our future. I mean, these are guys that hides in the holes in the rocks around uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan and, and shoulder-fired missiles. That's about it. Syria... Helicopter strike a Damascus suburb. Okay. Assad has asked for safe haven out of his country. Y'all hadn't heard this yet, but you may hear it within the next day or so. He has been denied. He was ordered to stay on his compound. And I'm going to tell you why. Two reasons, or three now. One, he ordered the shoot down of a Turkish airliner. And Turkey knows that. Assad has killed in excess of 40 to 45,000 of his own people. Eight towns. Eight have been gassed. He's killed them with gas. That puts him into a different category. War crimes. Number three, he has 28 independent hiding places set up to interrogate prisoners. He is torturing all of them. He's torturing his people till death. A 13-year-old boy, how he escaped, I don't know. But after they electrocuted him, knocked him out, when he came to, two days later, when he was able to stand on his own, they then took needle-nose pliers, shoved them under his fingernails, and wiggled him out. This is what they did to a 13-year-old boy. What in the world would they do? to his uncle that was caught with him. They were simply hiding. Well, he hadn't seen his uncle since. He thinks that they tortured him. He thinks that he's dead. They think he's dead. Saudi Arabia wars against travel to Lebanon. Saudi Arabia has a... a no, I'm taking that back. I, I'm sorry. Egypt has a elite 999 team. They have worn friendly neighboring countries stay away. All hell's fixing to break loose. Russia military to hold over 1,000 drills in June through October. At the same time, Putin is courting Benjamin Netanyahu. North Korea leader ordered uranium bomb work. They told South Korea that we can do so much damage to you in four seconds. You'll not know how horrible it can be. And then they came back and said, you know what, it probably could be done in two seconds. As crops rot, millions in Hungary, or millions in India goes hungry. They've had so much excess of storms and rain, their crops dying on the ground. Record-setting heat waves, severe storms, mark summer 2012. Is this hell nowhere close? 
and we will lose a major part of our crop this year. Guys, buy you some food, I'm telling you. 155,000 people affected by 66 magnitude earthquake in Xinjiang, China. Food inflation fears as U.S. crops surge. They need to put as U.S. crops die on the ground. There's no water. They're in a heat wave. And we will have a dust bowl this time next year if something doesn't happen. What we're doing, we're kicking the can down the road. But you need to find a full can and hide it. Okay, uh, male Islamists vow to destroy every Muslim in Tubuktu. Hey, carry on. You know, who, who cares what you want to do? And, uh, all right, let me see how much time I have. I got another update on prophecy, which is uh, July the 3rd. And I'll try to get as many of them in as I can in the next four minutes. Iran test fires missiles able to hit Israel. Well, that's nothing new. They've been doing it for two years. United States moved new forces to Gulf in sign to Iran. Like I said, we'll blow them out of the water if they try to block it. And we're not the only ones that's dependent upon that oil. United States military, let's see, strength beefed up at Hormuz as nuclear talks with Iran fades. Iran has by law to defend Syria from attack. Good luck. The UAF, I can't, I can't, I'm missing a letter here. IAF, Israeli Air Force strikes, Hezbollah target in Lebanon or Lebanese territory. Syrian strikes rebels. Turkey scrambles F-16s. Syria's in trouble with Turkey. They will not give Assad a way out of his country. They may take him. Shift in Russia, China positions on Syrian. Anon, you'll watch this. That little thing they got going is going to kind of break up a little bit. You watch the war games. Market bomb kills 44 before Iraqi Shiite ritual. Uh, if one storm can turn D.C. dark for several days, what do you think a massive EMP burst would do? Well, they're not going to be a massive EMP. P a, uh, a EMP burst because if they did it to us, we'll do it to them. So why should everybody be hit with it? We'll go back in the 30s if that happens for six months. Moderate 5.4 quake hits Iranian town. A 6.2 quake rattles New Zealand. Monsoon floods kills 81 in India. Forces 2 million to flee. Sun unleashes early 4th of July fireworks. The United States summer is what global warmest or warming looks like. Um, the U.S. summer, let's say China, reports bird flu outbreak. Again, it's, it's created by man. It's not a bird flu. Bird flu outbreak has hits chicken farms in Mexico. Um, they are turning our crops, animals, and even our babies into freakish genetic monsters. What could possibly go wrong? What else could go wrong? California bill would allow children to have more than two parents. Well, that may be the case, but when you get two guys marry or two girls marry, then you'll see a drastic reduction in population because unless they want to pump themselves up with something from the Nephilim, how else are you going to replenish the earth? Well, that's the two latest, and um, I got a lot more to say. There's a lot of stuff, important stuff, scary stuff. And I'll try to get it in. Bear with me, Jody Wolf. Have a nice fourth. Expose.